The Duchess of Sussex has never publicly spoken about any desire to run for office in the U.S., but her activism has fueled speculation the Duchess of Sussex may be interested in entering the political arena. Brand management expert Eric Schiffer said, Meghan's actions are straight out of what a smart politician would do to further appeal to young people on issues that are tied to her brand. Because while her heart may be aligned with these issues, her tactics are straight out of a sophisticated politician's foundational playbook. Asked about Meghan's recent move may be seen as a first step into politics, Mr. Schiffer said, I think it's a first step, and one could even argue a continued set of steps that has already begun to have her build a base for an eventual launch in time. As Gen Z and millennials continue to age, those are the future voters of America. And Meghan has done a near-masterful job in parts of the U.S. to build a brand that connects emotionally with the hearts of that younger demographic. What we are seeing today is evidence that she also has the ability to mobilize traction with policymakers in ways that are meaningful and can affect change. And that's a piece that is critical if she is going to ever be seen a credible politician. He told, I think Meghan and Harry's master plan is to position themselves as the royals of the world, not just of the UK, and done through acts of benevolence and leadership with a heart that is meaningful to the values and desires of Gen Z and millennials. Prince Harry and Meghan, Mr. Schiffer also said, have been vocal about causes younger generations are deeply passionate about, including the environment, gender and racial equality. The environment has been at the forefront of Prince Harry's work for years. Following in Prince Philip's footsteps, he became a vocal advocate for conservation. On the other hand, Meghan has been a champion of gender equality for years, starting to make her voice heard on the matter since she was a child. Aged 11, she famously put the spotlight on Procter & Gamble after perceiving it savored for dishwashing ivory soap as sexist. The then-child wrote letters to the company as well to influential U.S. women, including Hillary Clinton, after which Procter & Gamble changed its savored slogan. After joining the royal family, the Duchess continued to promote gender equality through her work. Less than a year after her marriage with Harry, she marked International Women's Day by joining a panel of feminist leaders and activists to discuss the importance of taking action. Her work on gender equality and supporting women continued after she left the firm, and in August she marked her 40th birthday by launching a mentorship effort to help women who have lost their job during the pandemic but are trying to re-enter the market. Most recently, she has been campaigning for paid parental leave in the U.S., an issue she said to consider humanitarian rather than political. Another news, Michael Fawcett stepped down as the chief executive of the Prince Foundation after the Cash for Honors scandal which claims Mahfouz Murray Mubarak bin Mahfouz was promised a knighthood and residency in the UK for donating to the foundation. The Sunday Times reported the Duke of Sussex agreed to meet Dr bin Mahfouz in 2013 following a £50,000 donation to his charity. The claim has been denied by Harry adding that he severed ties with Mr Mahfouz and his associates in 2015. A spokesperson for the Duke of Sussex said, It is disappointing that the Sunday Times, knowing all the facts, has chosen to encourage speculation by being deliberately vague to try to create a falsified link between the Duke of Sussex and the CBE scandal, of which he had no knowledge or involvement. The Duke and his advisers, as well as his non-profit Santa Bale, severed ties with Mr. Mahfouz and his associates in 2015, no longer accepting further donations to Santa Bale and discontinuing any plans for a fundraising event amid growing concerns over the motives for his support. The Duke had one planned meeting with this donor nearly eight years ago, did not introduce him to any members of the royal family, and expressed his concerns about the donor.